Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and for today's video, we're going to be in Stockton on the Tees. Yes, Stockton on the Tees, which is the Newcastle area of the United Kingdom. An area, believe it or not, known for, well, castles, but also some other really cool architecture, some really cool history, etc. So, we are going to be at the George Pub, the George's Pub Guys which is a pub which has a whole bunch of challenges. In fact, I think they probably have the most food challenges of any restaurant I know of. They have probably upwards of about 10 different food challenges. And so today what we are doing is we are doing their Great George Burger Challenge, which just is, is it's an absolutely massive 20 patty burger. It's 20 patty burger. There is so much cheese on it. I think it's at least 20 pieces. I'm gonna give you the exact details. It is served with fries or chips. Now the catcher, is we're only gonna have about 20 minutes to actually eat it in order to win the cash prize. Yes, there's actually a record on it. So the way this challenge works is you get the free meal and a uh, cash prize, a 100 pound cash prize, if you can beat the record of about 20-ish minutes. So a very difficult challenge. It is a big, big, big burger, 20 patties. Um, but at that, guys, it's pretty much all the info I know. I'll get you the rest of it if there is any more details. And that's about it. So ultimate, let's go eat. All right, everybody, so here we are with the Great George Burger. Very suiting name, being it is called the George Pub. So we do have 60, yes, six zero ounces of beef. So about four pounds of beef, which is insane, plus all the fries. The burger actually, and, oh, and 20 pieces of cheese, overall 20 patties. There's actually so much, um, basically, patties that they started falling out. So there's a stack here, and then we have all these patties right here. So I definitely think it is cooled off, so I'm gonna get started here just momentarily. Again, we do have to beat the current record, which is about 20, 20 21 minutes. How about my good friend, Mr. Kyle, the food. Um, so at that, let's get started here. In just a moment, I definitely have my pile of ketchup. It is basically this full bottle. I do love me some ketchup or tomato sauce if you are in certain places in the UK. So with that, we're gonna rock and roll. Let's get started here just momentarily. We got George Bob ready to rock. Yeah! Come on, Joel. Much Come love, on. guys. Much okay. love in the UK. So I'm gonna pull this big old awkward stick out. I think it's a good place to start. There is so much cheese on this thing. Like, this is, well, there's not literally as many, as much cheese as beef, but it sure looks that way. These are, actually, these are still pretty hot. I think I should be good to get started, but uh, no shortage of beef. Actually, here, I can start with this pile of beef right here, because there is like, I, yeah, I don't even know how many patties here. That is a, that is a stack right there. I'd say there's at least five. So guys, like you said, 20 patty burger. Apparently one of the most higher calorie burgers, if not the highest calorie burger in the, in the UK. And I think probably the most patties. I think that's probably fair to yeah, say. Yeah, so that's right. 20 patties, guys. Gotta come to Stockton on the tee. All right, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Come on, Joel! Oh, oh my jeez. <laughs> I swear, I mean, I mean literally just a mouthful of cheese. Tastes good though. British cheddar cheese. <laughs> Mixed with mozzarella. Well, so. Hey everyone, welcome to Zuder. Today we are here at the George Pub in Stockton on the Tees, kind of in the Newcastle United Kingdom era, here taking on the Great George Burger Challenge. So this place has a number of challenges. They have like probably about 10 different food challenges. I don't think I've ever had such, so much cheese on a burger. Oh, no, 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 no. It is a nice tasting beef though. Have a I'm gonna beef. Some offer cash for completion, and some offer cash if you beat a record. So today we are in the quest for a 100 pound prize, which is their currency. So it's approximately eh, maybe about 130 American. Um, if we could beat the current record of about 20 something minutes. Uh, so that's ultimately what we were set out to do. So it was a 20 patty burger challenge with 20 pieces of cheese which is absolutely insane there's just i don't think i've actually ever had a burger with so much cheese on it <laughs> and while technically i think i have had other burgers with like 20 some slices of cheese i just don't think they were maybe as big as slices like i don't really know what it was but there's so much cheese on this like it was absolutely insane but i have to give a huge shout out these were really nice tasting smash burgers which i love smash burgers come on joel says adam joel is loads of support you want to get out there thank you Woo. 
Guys, this is uh, beef. Lots of beef. And cheese, oh my gosh. But, it's tasty. Some black pepper in there. Let me some ketchup. Speaking of which, what do you think about Smash Burgers? Let me know in a comment down below. So ultimately, uh, pretty much like I said, we're just gonna have to focus. Um, there was a full 6D ounces of beef, not to mention all the cheese, then the buns, the french fries. There was a lot of food here. Looks like Joel's about four patties at a time there. Hot, hot at the bottom. But, that means we hollow along. This burger has also been labeled the highest calorie burger in the UK. Lads, there's some terminology I don't care today. <laughs> I like it. Having something like more than 12,000 calories, I guess, which honestly, that's nuts. Like, that's a huge amount of food. That's a huge amount of calories. You know, to think about trying to eat in one sitting at that. All right, buddy, I think I'm about five minutes now. Or four minutes? Four minutes? There's a whole bottle of ketchup. You inhaled the we still got lots of meat to go, that's for sure. And fries. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. No shortage of ketchup, everybody. No shortage of food. So as this was a record challenge and you had to beat the record to get the cash prize, we were going to leave a little bit of room for future attemptees. I've just subscribed to Joel's page. Oh my god. Very good. Come on, lads. Keep going. Well done, Scott. Keep going, Joel. But besides that, I believe that's pretty much the majority of the info. Now that is another huge stack of meat. Oh my gosh, oh, guys. Wow. This doesn't end. Well. Ooh, and that is a... There's actually vegetables on this burger, guys. I didn't even know. That is a bun. That is a bun right there. <laughs> Let me know what you think of that bun down below. It's, uh... Well flavored. Great staff, really cool place, an absolutely giant, insane burger challenge. Um, so with that, guys, if you're ever in the area, really cool place to stop on by. Like I said, they literally have probably about 10 different food challenges featuring everything from, like, chicken nuggets to steaks. So at that, guys, ultimately, let's tune on in to see what happens. Woo! It's so hot over there, told you. Pardon me? It's so hot. It's good temperature. <laughs> so originally from Canada, both of you, is that right? Yeah. Doing well there, Joel? Very good. Looks like three patties left. Three of 20 patties left. All right, everybody, we are coming on-ish, nine minutes. No shortage of food. The full bottle and a half of ketchup are not required for this challenge. Let's finish this up. Woo. No shortage of food, everybody. No shortage of food. Woo. This is uh, my second burger I've had in the uh, UK. And I gotta say, UK got some good burgers. This is great. The beef. <sighs> Excuse me, comments to the chef. That was well made, guys. <sighs> Get a little more room. Shout out Diet Coke. Thank you, guys. Ten minutes, ten on Joel, roughly on yours. Thank you. Alright, guys. Round some fries. And half a bar. Joel's just on his chips over there. Chips, guys. Got my chips left. Should have been 11 minutes in. Here's my hat. 
Casualties are to be expected. All right, guys, finish up these fries. About 12 and a 40 in, 12.40. I'll, uh, I'll speed up just a tiny, tiny bit. But we'll leave that record very attainable so somebody else can come in and enjoy 100 pounds. Because I'm not just greedy. Chips there, Joel. Thank you, thank you. And so soggy, soggy bottom. I like that description. A soggy bottom. Just the soggy bottom. Thoughts on soggy buns? Yeah, let me know down below what you think of soggy bottoms. Hashtag dry, hashtag soggy. Yeah. I'll leave that to your imagination. Alright, right, everybody. Real good? I'm sure you like your beat, yeah. Alright, everybody. Real good? Yeah. Alright, everybody. Real good? And I think we're about 15 minutes in. Come on, Joel. Savory, yeah, exactly. She clears off. Joel is a machine. Come on, Joel, says Melissa. Come on, Joel, says Kirsty. That model being food is definitely going to need it. Alright. Maybe we'll get rid of this soggy bottle. Uh, let's do a little catch up on the soggy bottle. Cheers, everybody. 15 and a half minutes in. Well done, Joel! Woo. That is a rich, soggy bottom. Ooh. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. And we're done. 16 minutes of something. 16 minutes of something. Joel Hansen. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, so just finished up. 16 minutes right on the dot. That was a very, very nice burger, guys. Super, super juicy. That mo that beef is super moist. Definitely the best Aberdeen Angus I've ever had. Maybe my first time having it, but it was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. I love the way they do the patties here. Fresh, house-made, not frozen, which I guess is very common in the area. So if you want a real quality burger, this is definitely a good spot. There is so much cheese. So much cheese on that. But if you love cheese, that's definitely a burger for you. Um, but yeah, overall, I got no complaints. Definitely a uh, big challenge. Lots of beef. Full four pound, well, 60 ounces, basically four pounds. Plus the fries. And I don't even know how much cheese, just 20 slices, whatever that equates to. But huge thanks to all the staff here, guys. Very, very, very friendly. But you get the meal for free. We also do get a $100 pound prize. And, uh, that's about that, guys. So we had a great time here with George. Been super friendly. And that's about it. Huge thanks to everybody who came out. Thank you guys so much. Well done, George. Oh. Again, you don't either. You also don't have to finish, you know, a bottle and a half of ketchup. But I do like ketchup. So everyone, until next time, of course, say happy out the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. I know the words. So till next time, have a lovely day. Although you guys definitely cannot see because that barrier is so close to seeing. Maybe you can, there you go. You can kind of see the top, guys. There you go. That is the ocean. We are on a very coastal drive of, I guess, Scotland. Well, it used to be Scotland. I think now officially we're in England. Might still be Scotland. Gorgeous, though. Gorgeous hillside. People pulling off to have a view. We might have to do the same here momentarily. But we took the coastal drive, and it's pretty beautiful, I will say. We'll uh, try to get a better view here momentarily, maybe when we peak this little hill. And let's see. Uh, yes. Voila. 
Look at the water. Look at the water. Gorgeous. That is even beautiful. Look at the, the, the hillside or the cliff. Very like steep, sharp cliffs. Which is what like, you know, Scotland was really, you know, Ireland and stuff is kind of known for some of the like, you know, cliffs of moor or whatever. Being a volcanic rock kind of just makes those sheep, uh, sharp drop off, so. Beautiful guys, but it is crazy. Even the mid-August here, it does seem, and the way the kind of plants are acting, is that it's fall, or becoming fall, so. As they say, winter is coming. Winter is coming. One last view of the water. Very beautiful. Crazy how big that ocean is. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.